thank you for joining us, David, Lance. Hi there. Thank I'm you. very happy to have you here tonight. Um, Lance, you're a movie critic. I you am. must be loving the Gasparilla Film Festival. Loving it. Loving it. <laughs> what, do you, yeah, what do you expect to get out of this year's, I mean, besides, besides critiquing sleep. it and uh, not getting any sleep for the next week because you're probably just going to be glued to a seat somewhere in a theater locally around here in Tampa? Well, I've actually I've seen about uh, seen over half of them, them already, yeah. but I mean, there's still, you know, miles to go. And uh, there's a lot of great films. It's really uh, kind of exciting. What are some of the ones you've seen that are, come see it? that you recommend? Well, I mean, I, I, I really love Viva, to tell you the truth. I mean, that's, uh, for me, I, I, it, it is, it's a complete guilty pleasure. It's, a, it's sort of a takeoff and an homage of all the, uh, the old uh, exploitation or sexploitation movies that Russ Meyer and all those guys did, Beyond the Beyond the, Beyond the Valley of the Dolls and the Ultra Vixens and all that. And um, it's very cheesy. It means to be <laughs> cheesy. The music's cheesy. The acting's cheesy. The wigs are cheesy. But it's great. It's great fun if you go with it. And the, it's, a, it's a really exciting festival because it goes from one extreme, something like that, to just the high art films, the very serious political movies. And, uh, and you know, for me, most exciting of all, uh, the vast majority of everything I've seen is, is really pretty high quality. Besides quality and the diversity, what's your favorite genre of film that you like to just, if you could just sit down with Oh, he won't tell you that. He Documentaries? I mean, what do you like just, I mean, what do you, what's your favorite, I mean, you gotta well, have some kind of like favorite dealy that you'd like stop when you're clicking through channels like, oh, that's good. I like. Well, I, you know, I don't. I, I really uh, don't. I mean, I, it's it's like asking what your what your what your favorite kind of ice cream is. I mean, you might really you might say cold. vanilla, you might say chocolate, exactly. Cold ice cream. But it's cream. whatever you're in the mood for that day. Okay. You know, if I'm sick, I'm gonna sit down and watch something that, that really? comfort food, comfort movies. You know, something you watched when you were so an eight year old kid. Through, it changes throughout the you know your time and, and, and whatever is happening in your environment. You want to just watch something specific. Yeah, absolutely. And Very for me, good. that's part of the beauty of this festival because it really the, the stuff hangs together. But it's all, it, all, it is, it's very eclectic, it's very, everything is very different. You know, Lance, in, in about 30 seconds or so, tell me why you think the guest, this is the second year for the Gasparilla Film Festival, yeah. you love films, you're a movie critic, tell us why you think the Gasparilla Film Festival is important to the Bay Area. Well, I think any film festival is important from the standpoint that the films are really uh, how we communicate with each other in terms of, I mean, art has become a dirty word in our culture these days, but films are... Film is art on, on a fundamental level, but it's art that you're allowed to say, you're allowed to speak the name. It's not necessarily a dirty word. Uh, when we come together in events like this, you can celebrate uh, film as an art. You can, it's, a, it's so, certainly, a, there's a social context there. Um, it, it works on any number of, of levels. It's, and, and certainly, even though in, these, right. in this uh, digital age, we've got access to every kind of movie we possibly want at our fingertips, right. You can't just you can't uh, you know knock the the, the experience of, of coming together together alone in the dark. And what and, a great place to have right, it here at the Tampa like Theater this. for yeah. opening or for the kickoff night. Yeah. David, you know, you've got thank you very much, Lance. Thank sure. you so much, Pleasure. Lance. Appreciate it. You, you have. You, you, you got to go. You, you got to go. Go ahead. Don't worry about it. I, I see CLTV yeah. on our script. What was that? CLTV. CLTV. Creative yeah, Loafing Creative Loafing TV. TV. What is that? Oh, well, it's just a, a video portal on our, on our homepage of our website, and uh, we hope to keep populating that with various, um, maybe even excerpts from the uh, greatest hits of Media Mix. You know, and media talk. Oh, why Who haven't you done that yet? Well, we just thought of it the other day. Are so these <laughs> user are these user uploaded video oh, there or is. there we go on a roll? Are these user uploaded video or are these videos not, that not you? We don't have that uh, function yet. These would be things that we we uh, either point people to uh, that involves something to do with creative loafing, something related subject to one of the the stories the on the site. Of slices on there. Perhaps. Well, you know what? We should get that bit of video back. Yeah. Well, you know, it's we're coming up on the tournament. David. The tournament <laughs> of burgers is coming up. You know. Can we be part of that? Oh yeah. All right, good. I we'll like that. We'll have, 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 we'll have to have a final uh, tasting kind of thing. Perfect. Yeah, you know, uh, I don't want to go out and do all the tasting, so you can do that. I'll yeah, just yeah. do the final three or something. All right. Yeah. But I want to tell you about uh, another inter reader interactive project we're starting this week, which is uh, Fix It Now Tampa Bay. It's what? Uh, uh, fix, fix It, it now. now Tampa Bay. I saw the cover now, story. Yep. There's the cover Very story. Is fix It Now. It came out of a, co uh, a column that Wayne Garcia did. Mm -hmm. uh, last December, where he listed 10 things that he said needed to be fixed in Tampa Bay yes. right away if we're going to live up to our potential. And that got a lot of response. I mean, people stopping when the 
street, people sending him comments, people asking him to run for office. Um, <laughs> he, was, he was just at Tiger Bay. He was just speaking at Tiger Bay Democratic Club the, uh, the other day. And it, uh, it's not Democratic, so, but the Tiger, Tiger Bay Club, they right. do yeah. political talks and stuff. He had a great response there. So we're inviting people to sort of join in the discussion, uh, give their suggestions about what they think should be done to help uh, solve these problems. And they can go and fix it now, tampabay.com, starting today, actually. Oh, wonderful. And they'll fix it now. Fix it now. Tampa, Tampa Bay. Bay. Tampa.com. Yes. Dot com is going to be a place where you'll probably maybe even be able to generate articles and ideas. Uh, absolutely. And, and, and That's, we want it to be. We've got well. the problems outlined. We want to start looking towards solutions. And, and bringing uh, people solutions yeah, and exactly. ideas and things that are happening. I got a whole bunch of ideas. Oh, so good. You, you, I, we should even well, do a whole show wrapped around that one. Yeah, we downtown be great. Tampa. Yeah. Yeah. Rob has some I got, issues I got a whole with parking thing. now. I'm going to log on when I get home. Yeah, there's so many yeah. C and D's going on this weekend, but I'm sure Gasparilla Film Festival would be on the Gasper, top of the your Gasper list. Gasparilla Festival of the Arts it's, is this weekend? No, it's next weekend, isn't it? Uh, it's the first weekend of March. March 1st and 2nd. That's, That's this weekend. This weekend. <gasps> that is this weekend. <laughs> got to make some plans. Oh, oh my uh, plans are changed. Leap Day is Friday. And we got moving on at Ruth Eckert, right. and we got Don Rickles right. and Joan Rivers coming to uh, Ruth Eckert. They're still alive? Yes, And for all of the other C&Ds you want to pick up, please pick up your weekly edition of Creative Loafing.